Chichen Itza. The layout of Chichen Itza site core developed during its earlier phase of occupation, between 750 and 900 AD. Its final layout was developed after 900 AD, and the 10th century saw the rise of the city as a regional capital controlling the area from central Yucatan to the north coast, with its power extending down the east and west coasts of the peninsula. The earliest hieroglyphic date discovered at Chichen Itza is equivalent to 832 AD, while the last known date was recorded in the Osario Temple in 998. The late classic city was centered upon the area to the southwest of the Stolok Cenote, with the main architecture represented by the substructures now underlying the Las Manas and Observatorio and the basal platform upon which they were built, Palenque. Mythological beings using a variety of emblem glyphs in their titles suggests a complex early history. For instance, Kuk Balamai, the supposed founder of the Palenque dynasty, is called Atakhtanaja in the text of the Temple of the Foliated Cross. The famous structures that we know today probably represent a rebuilding effort in response to the attacks by the city of Kalakmul and its client states in 599 and 611. One of the main figures responsible for rebuilding Palenque and for a renaissance in the city's art and architecture is also one of the best known Mayaja, Kayanich Janab Pakal, Pakal the Great, who ruled from 615 to 683. He is known through his funerary monument dubbed the Temple of Inscriptions, after the lengthy text preserved in the temple superstructure, Uxmal. Maya chronicles say that Uxmal was founded about 500 AD by Hunitzil Chiktutulshiu. For generations Uxmal was ruled over by the Shiu family. It was the most powerful site in western Yucatan, and for a while, in alliance with Chichen Itza, dominated all of the northern Maya area. Sometime after about 1200, no new major construction seems to have been made at Uxmal, possibly related to the fall of Uxmal's ally Chichen Itza and the shift of power in Yucatan to Mayapan. The Shiu moved their capital to money. And the population of Uxmal declined, Yixchilin. Yixchilin has its origins in the pre-classic period. A large part of what is known of the classic period history of the city comes from the hieroglyphic texts of the kings who ruled during its late classic apogee, one of the most important of which is hieroglyphic. Stairway 1. Some retrospective inscriptions appear to have been used to rewrite Yixchilin's dynastic history to suit King Bur Jaguar IV. Before the rule of King Itzamnayaj Balam II, who reigned from 681 to 742, the city was relatively small. The city-state then grew to a regional capital and the dynasty lasted into the early 9th century. Tikal. There are traces of early agriculture at the site dating as far back as 1000 BC, in the Middle Preclassic. A cache of Mammon ceramics dating from about 700 to 400 BC were found in a sealed chultun, a subterranean bottle-shaped chamber. Major construction at Tikal was already taking place in the late Preclassic period, first appearing around 400, 300 BC, including the building of major pyramids and platforms, although the city was still dwarfed by sites further north such as El Mirador and Nakbi. At this time, Tikal participated in the widespread Shikanal culture that dominated the central and northern Maya areas. At this time, a region that included the entire Yucatan Peninsula including northern and eastern Guatemala and all of Belize. Copan. Little is known of the rulers of Copan before the founding of a new dynasty with its origins at Tikal in the early 5th century AD. Although the city's origins can be traced back to the pre-classic period. After this, Copan became one of the more powerful Maya city-states. And was a regional power in the southern Maya region. However, it suffered a catastrophic defeat at the hands of its former vassal state. Quirigua in 738, when the long-ruling king Uaxiclajuan Ubiakea Wheel was captured and beheaded by Quirigua's ruler Kak Tilachanyopayat, Kaikskai. Kalakmul. Kalakmul has a long occupational history and excavations have revealed evidence from the middle pre-classic right through 
to the Post Classic. The causeway network that linked Calakmul with the cities of El Mirador, Nakbi, and El Tintal suggests strong political links between the four cities that may have begun in the pre-classic, when both Calakmul and El Mirador were important cities, and continued into the classic period when Calakmul itself was the most powerful city in the region. Calakmul was one of the largest and most powerful ancient cities ever uncovered in the Maya lowlands. El Mirador El Mirador flourished from about the 6th century BCE to the 1st century CE, reaching its height from the 3rd century BCE. Then it experienced a hiatus of construction and perhaps abandonment for generations, followed by reoccupation and further construction in the late classic era, and a final abandonment about the end of the 9th century. Bican Archaeological evidence shows that Bican was occupied in the middle pre-classic Maya period, about 550 BCE and grew to a major population and ceremonial center a few hundred years later in the late pre-classic. The population and scale of construction declined in the early classic, c. 250 CE, although it was still a significant site. And trade goods from Teotihuacan have been found. Kohunlik. The site was settled by 200 BC, but most of the structures were built in the early classic period from about 250 to 600 AD. Many of them are still covered with thick vegetation and overgrown by trees. The site is best known for its Temple of the Masks. An early classic pyramid whose central stairway is flanked by huge humanized stucco masks. Sunantunic The core of the city Sunantunic occupies about 1 square mile, 2.6 square kilometers, consisting of a series of six plazas. Surrounded by more than 26 temples and palaces. As a polity in whole, Sunantunic contains 140 mounds per square km. As discovered in the surveys done by the XSS. One of Sunantunic's better known structures is the pyramid known as El Castillo, Caracol. The Caracol area was occupied as early as 1200 BC, yet occupation in the epicentral area was no earlier than 650 BC. And lasted no later than AD 950. Caracol boasts 53 carved stone monuments, 25 stele and 28 altars, and more than 250 burials and 200 caches. Al Tunha Al Tunha lies on the north central coastal plain of Belize, in a dry tropical zone. The site was very swampy during its pre Columbian occupation, with very few recognizable water sources. Currently, the only recognizable natural water source is a creek beyond the northern limit of the mapped area.